Hello there. You guys know who I am by now, so I don't need to introduce myself. So, I put out a, uh, a thing a while ago, I think on the community tab. Still trying to get used to that whole tab of YouTube. Uh, whereas, if you guys want a little bit more vlogs, and the, the resounding thing was yes. So, this doesn't count as a vlog, but... There's this, I don't even know if we're going to call this a series. Uh, this is unedited stuff, so I don't expect music or things like that. There's a series of things we're going to discuss in the next couple of days, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am feeling the burnout. And I think a lot of creators, and not even just creators, I think many of us in life feel this way. We're feeling quite burnt out because uh, life is tough we all know this life is uh, life can be a rough one so today's topic is comparison and we all do it we all do it and it contributes to burnout it contributes to feeling depressed about stuff it contributes to feeling awful it contributes to not being able to sleep at night because we're consistently comparing ourselves, whether actively in our brain or passively, just while you're doing whatever it is you're doing. It could be at your job, it could be as a creator, it could be as a, oh man, it could be as anything. We're consistently comparing ourselves to other people. And this is something that we have to try and unlearn. And I'm not going to give you any advice on that because... <laughs> I struggle trying to get away from that, uh, especially when it's when it's got to do with a lot of things, um, whether it's got to do with my day job or especially when it's got to do with being a creative individual. Um, on my end, it's not that I like to compare myself to with some of the big people in the world. You want to set yourself a goal. And we, we all do that. Um, and sometimes if you don't reach that goal, you don't feel good enough. And then you start comparing yourself to other people and wonder, okay, how did they do that? Why did they do this? How did they reach that? And to be honest with you, it weighs heavy because it's a case of you make yourself feel you're not good enough. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I struggle with that. I do. I have been doing this for a very long time. And look, I'm nowhere near where other people are. And what people tell you is you shouldn't do that because everyone's journey is different. The thing that I struggle mostly with, and I don't know if you guys struggle with it as well, is I'm struggling to come to grasp with, is this what I'm still meant to be doing uh, if I've put this much time into it? I know some people who have been doing things for a very long time and never see the fruits of their labor and something like YouTube is all on the creator. It's got nothing to do with the audience. You can't force people to watch your videos. Your videos have got to be good. So that's where you sit and wonder, are my videos good enough? Uh, am I in the right niche? Am I putting in enough time and effort into you know storyboards, thumbnails, uh, titles? Titles are super important on YouTube. And then there's the factor that other people are doing it as well. So you're not alone in this whole content creator struggle. And it goes to everything, right? It goes to music. There are artists that sing for years and they never get their flowers. There are people at work who never get that promotion despite putting hours in and sacrificing. It's put me in a, in a negative headspace and like I said, this is open. You guys are more than welcome to rag me in the comments. <laughs> I'm not looking for sympathy. 
I'm sharing open, honest conversation with you. This is how I feel at the moment. I'm in a super negative headspace. It's why I haven't put as much gaming content out as I would like to. But I'm also trying to be a little bit more, how do I say, uh, on purpose with the content I put out. I still love what I do. I think that's the most important part that I want to come across is that I love what I do, but I'm in such a space where I'm consistently trying to see what other people have done to get to that point. And yeah, there are contributing factors to a lot of things, but it's a case of I need to stop comparing myself to other people. I know I do. I think we all, when we do that, we know, like we know we're not supposed to do that, but the brain hole up here is like, mm, about that, buddy. Um, so yeah, if you guys have got any advice or any words of inspiration, I don't know what I'm looking for, <laughs> to be honest with you. I... I am burnt out, can feel it, but I also don't want to stop, but I also do want to stop. It's a whole mixture of things, and yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um... Yeah, it's just a mixture of topics, uncomfortable topics that need to be discussed. And if there are uncomfortable answers to the topics, they need to be addressed. So, let me know in the comments your experiences with comparing yourself or if you know someone going through that kind of thing. What are some of the the things that a person can do? I, I th You know, besides therapy, I... I have been to a therapist. I'm going again. Um, actually, fairly recently. So I'm trying to unlearn a lot of things. But obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. So yeah, I hope you guys are well. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Expect this the whole week. Uh, there might be a few other videos in between. But yeah, I'm going to keep these unedited. So you know, this is the real me. And yeah, love you guys. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye.